Hello everyone, welcome to Gyro. In this video, we are going to check it out how to restore a deleted user account from Microsoft 365 Admin Center. When an employee gets a new job, he leaves the organization and as an administrator, it is your responsibility to, del to delete those accounts from Microsoft 365. However, the best intention can sometimes go wrong. An administrator select a wrong user account and delete it before realizing the mistake. Certain, sometimes it may happen. So you should know how to restore a deleted user account in Microsoft 365. By default, if you delete a user, it will be there in the deleted user account for 30 days. So it is called soft delete. So let us practically check it out how we can delete a user account and how we can restore that account in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We are already logged into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Uh, the URL of the Admin Center is nothing but admin.microsoft.com. So once if you type this URL in Google in any browser, we will land over on this particular page where we have home, users and many other tabs over here. And it's an admin center, so we have a security compilance and even uh, Microsoft Entra, Exchange Online, Teams Admin Center, and many other, even Intune also is part of this. We are going to delete a user now and we are and let us check how we can restore that. For that, we have to come to uses and click on active uses. Here we have uh, all our uses are available here and click on any particular user you want to delete it and click on delete user. Are you sure you want to delete this particular user? You can restore delete a user and recover their data except for calendar items and alias for up to 30 days. So you can recover their data except for calendar items. Calendar items and alias will not be able to restore it. But the other things you can restore it in 30 days. So I'm going to delete the user. So this particular user has been deleted successfully. So if you go to the delete user, that ID should be available here. Yes, you can see that ID is available here. So as I said, this user that is called soft delete and this delete user, you can restore it for 30 days. Once if the 31th day, it will be permanently deleted from the Microsoft 365 admin center. And even if when you delete a user, if it has assigned some licenses, E3 or E5 license, whatever license it is allocated to that particular user will be automatically unassigned. We let us restore this user. We have an option here to restore it. So click on restore user. So we have uh, uh, two options here like auto generate the password and we even if it required we can create a password over here. Let us read what is written over here. You must do two things to completely restore a user. First restore the user in admin center. Second reassign the licenses. That is what. So once if you delete a user automatically the license will be reassigned. So uh, post restoring this user to the act. Once you restore the user it will be part of active usage. And there you, we will have to assign the license again. After the second step, data access to the services will be restored. Once if you provide these licenses, uh, all the services where he were having it, it will be restored. And we have auto-generated password. And uh, if it required, let us go with the auto-generated password or you can create a password for him. I'm going with the auto-generated password and clicking on restore. So the password is available here. You can send this password as in an email or uh, you can in some other way, in whatever way we can uh, inform the, other, in the end user that this is your password. Okay, as you can see, the deleted user has been restored to the, restored now and it is part of active usage as of now. And see, uh, it will be as unlicensed if you want to add the licenses whatever license that user were having in the previously if you want to add it go to license and app and provide the licenses accordingly if you want e file license tick over here it comes from whatever license we have purchased in our account that will be listed over here and we can provide the licenses accordingly so that this is the way how we can 
delete a user and restore a user account within 30 days. So we'll meet in another video.